Leftovers with 100 by Drew and Morgan. How to play. The first player has a start number of 100 as the dividend. Then they pick a number 1 through 20 to use as the divisor. Divide the two and get an answer. Whatever the remainder is of the answer, subtract it from the start number to get the next start number. Fill out the chart for your turn and put your initials where it says so. When you get to zero or can't make any more progress subtracting, add up your remainders. Whoever has the largest total wins the game. Well, we're teaching you how to play the game, so you need to know how to win. So we're giving you three strategies. The first strategy is picking a higher divisor for a higher remainder. The higher the divisor, the more possible remainders. If you choose 20, the highest possible remainder is 19. If you choose two, the highest possible remainder is one. Another strategy that you could use in this game is don't pick a divisor that is a multiple right before the dividend. Like if you pick a number that's a multiple of a number, you misunderstood the rules of the game. You need to get the highest remainder possible. For example, if the start number was 81 and you pick 9, then you're not going to get any remainder. Or like if you pick 4, it's going to go up to 80, or 4 times 20 is 80, so you're not going to, you're only going to get 1 as the remainder. The last strategy is it helps to use divisibility rules when finding the remainders. You can look over this list of the divisibility rules, and after you've looked over them, here is an example. Imagine you have the divisor of 72. The start number of 72. Yes. And you do one of the rules, so 3 and both 9, that they're both divisible by 3 and 9, but then you realize it has a 2 in it, so it's divisible by 2, and, and it has 3 and 2 as a factor, so 6 is a, di is a divisor. Now we're going to show you an example of how to play. So, I'm going to be player one, and I once you start out, you always have the start number of 100. So, I'm just going to pick the divisor of 15. So, right here, if I do 100 divided by 15, I'm going to get the answer of 6 with the remainder of 10. So, then I'd fill out the chart up here like I said so, and you'd get a remainder of 10. So, then you would subtract the start number right here, by the remainder and then you'd get 90 which would equal the next start number for the next player. The player two's turn is a little bit different. You, the last player's turn subtracted their remainder and that would be your start number. So my start number is 90. So I chose 16 as my divisor. And I got a quotient of 5 and a remainder of 10. I filled out the chart, and now the next step is just to subtract my remainder, which was 10, and the next start number would be 80. Okay, now we're going to let you guys try one on your own. So this start number is going to be 72. And you have the divisor choices of 3, 5, 17, 18, and 20. Now you guys can pause the video right now and pick one that would get the highest remainder. Okay. The answer was 20. Because if you did 72 divided by 20, you would go, because 20 times 3 is 60, and there would be a remainder of 12. And if you tried all of the other ones, there would be a remainder less than 12. Now, if you, if you didn't miss the last, if you missed the last one, or you just want another challenge, we're giving you another chance. The this start number is 81. You have the divisor choices of 4, 9, 10, 15, and 20. You can pause the video 
as he said, and try to figure out the answer. The answer was 15. 15 has a remainder of 6, which isn't very good, but it's better than all the other choices. 20, for example, would get you a remainder of 1 because 20 times 4 is 80. Thank you guys for watching.